Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to be showcasing some error and variant 50ps, particularly those which are most popular and potentially most valuable, and also showing you some of the 50ps which weren't intended for circulation. Let's not waste any time and get onto the first coin of the video, which is the Olympic Athletics 50p. It has a circulating mintage of 2,224,000, which is relatively low, especially for a 50p, uh, and it is one of the coins which make up the London Olympic set which was released in 2011 in preparation for the 2012 London Olympics. On the bottom left of the screen you will see the obverse of the coin which was intended for circulation. This is the one that you will expect to find should you find one of these coins which are scarce it must be said. On the bottom right hand side of the screen you'll see the 2009 variant of this coin which was released in 2009 uh, in Blue Peter packaging. It is believed the overall mintage figure for this uncirculated 2009 version is around 20,000, making it particularly scarce. Should you find the 2011 version of this coin in your change, you're probably looking at something around the £2 mark if you were to sell it on a site such as eBay. However, should you find this 2009 version in circulation or indeed in its original Blue Peter packaging, you're probably looking somewhere around the £400 mark. The next coin on this list is the Olympic Aquatics 50p, also released in 2011 as part of the London 2012 Olympics. It has a circulating mintage of 2,179,000. On the left hand side you can see the reverse of the circulating version of this coin. On the right hand side of the screen you'll notice the swimmer's face is covered by lines. This was the original intended design for this coin, however it was quickly redesigned uh, with the design without the lines being released into circulation. It's not exactly known how many of these uh, coins with the lines over the face were made, uh, however they were only in the brilliant uncirculated sets. Much like the previous coin, this Olympic 50p will fetch something around the £2 mark uh, on eBay, whereas the Aquatics coin with the lines over the face, um, we can only estimate will be somewhere in excess of £100. They don't pop up on selling sites very often, so this is just a rough estimate. Another thing to note, if you are looking to try to purchase one of these, do be very cautious of replicas and fakes. Uh, certain replicas are there just as gap fillers, if you like, if you would like to have some sort of version of the coin. Um, but some people will try to uh, effectively scam you and pretend that they're selling you a genuine version of the coin, so do watch out for that. Next up we have what is probably one of my favourite 50ps, the Battle of Britain 50p. This coin actually has four different variations on the obverse which you can find or have the potential to find in circulation. The top left we have the normal circulating version. This one has the fifth portrait of Queen Elizabeth II uh, created by Jodie Clark. Uh, you can see it has the 50 pence denomination written at the top left as well as the date 2015. This one has a mintage figure of 5,900,000, making it a relatively common coin to find in your change. On the top right you can see the obverse, uh, which has the fourth portrait designed by Ian Rank Broadly. This one has no denomination written on it, uh, with the date 2015 at the bottom right. This variation was released before the change of portrait in 2015, uh, in the brilliant uncirculated packs released by the Royal Mint. You do have a small chance to find this coin in circulation if someone has spent it or paid it into a bank or post office. On the bottom left we can see once again the fifth portrait of Queen Elizabeth with uh, the Jodie Clark portrait. However this coin has no 50 pence denomination written on it but with 2015 written at the top. This variation was released as the silver proof version. On the bottom right you can see a variation very similar to the first, however this one is dated 2019 and this coin was reissued as part of the 50 years of the 50p which saw re-releases of many coins from years before. In terms of value you're maybe looking at around a pound for the circulating version of this coin. The brilliant uncirculated version you're probably looking somewhere in the region of around 20 pounds for this coin in its brilliant uncirculated packaging. For the silver proof version of this coin, you're probably looking at something in excess of £150, and the 2019 re-release of the coin somewhere in the region of around £5 to £10. Lastly, I'd like to point out this minor error, which probably adds not a lot of value, but it's still of interest in my opinion, um, to this 2018 Paddington at the Palace 50p. 
You'll notice below this line, circled on the screen, there is no dot. However, on the right hand side, there is a small dot underneath the line. This is just an example of probably many minor errors, which as I said, add not a lot of value, but are still of interest in my opinion and something else to look out for. Do let me know if you think I've missed any significant errors that you know about, uh, but let's get into some not intended for circulation definitive coins. Here we have the Shield 50p, designed by Matthew Dent, which replaced the Britannia design as the definitive coin in 2008. What actually is the definitive coin? It's usually known as the standard or the regular circulating coin. In some years, this coin was not actually issued into circulation and only struck for the collector's brilliant uncirculated packs and proof sets. Therefore, if someone has broken out of their set and paid it into circulation, there is a chance you can find it. Those years are 2009, 2010, 2011, 2016, and 2018. Evaluation of these coins is very difficult. However, in most cases, they should fetch at least 50 pounds on the secondary market. We also highly anticipate 2020 will also be not intended for circulation. And as for 2021, we'll have to wait and see. Just a side note, the year 2017 is also low minted. We saw 1.8 million of these coins released into circulation. Evaluation of this coin would once again be around two pounds. I'm sure there are many more errors and rare things to look out for in the 50p, so do let me know if you think I've missed anything important. And if this is your first time watching one of my videos, do make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be kept up to date. I do regular coin hunts and also live streams on a Wednesday evening. So I hope you've enjoyed, I hope you found this useful, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye bye!